Hi there. So finishing now the uh, the lectures on, on post processing, probably something that that you thought was something easy. You have seen that post processing it can be very time consuming. There is a lot to do. Here is where also we give physical sense you know, to what we're doing. So now let's talk about uh, we were first. Uh, uh, dealing with post-processing, sampling, everything in uh, using open fund utilities. Now let's move to part of, you know, the scientific visualization application that comes with with, with, with open phone. Remember, you can use any tool, okay? You have the, the, the conversion utility, so you can convert it, but as this one is the one that comes with with uh, open phone, Let, let's address a little bit more advanced features, okay? We, all, we already have seen how, how it works, but I just want to show you some other advanced features. So this, again, this can be really, really weird. I, I can talk hours and hours about auctions and, uh, and filters in, in part of you, but I will keep it a little bit basic i will give you a, a brief overview but here you have this this size where, where where you can find more, more material so well you have a brief introduction of part of you so i will skip here okay probably i need to update this one this is remember i wrote this one for version 4.4 4. 4. Uh, now it's 4.8 think so catalyst is a little bit so one thing about part of you and part of so First of all, Patafon, it is a wrapper around part of you. Part of you is the visualization and Patafon is just a script that will call the utility that will call part of you and that's all. Plus this Patafon also will use some plugins specific to, to OpenFone, but Patafon is not a, a new a new software is just something a wrapper and a small script that will that will create that that will create some files and then will open the case. So basically, part of what will do it will create this. Probably you have seen this file when you open a file that automatically is created. That is what is part of is doing, creating that that and then loading this plugin that is specific for, for part of it. But if you want, you can use part of you. You don't need to compile to compile. A part of phone uh, or part of you that comes with open phone, just leave that folder search party uh, uh, folder, leave it as it is with, with no part of you, and you insult your, your binary, whatever you find for, for your installation, or you go to a website. So sometimes I do like, the, like that, okay? So if you decide to go for part of you, what you need to do before opening the case, you go to your case working directory and simply you create an empty file, okay? You give it a name, but the extensions have to be open phone or or phone and then when you open part of it, just call the name and that's all you will automatically uh, open the file okay that is the only difference okay so part of it is just doing this step automatically and then reading the uh, loading this this plugin automatically instead if you use part of you without those plugins you need to do the cases manually then probably also when you open open for uh, part of it will, will will ask you what what data format you are trying to open will give you many options but you just click in 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 open form form okay we'll tell you okay is this data coming i don't know from fluent and tech plot whatever so you just select the option open phone and that's all you are ready to go so it's important that and this is very strange. I don't know why you know, or what is going on, but usually part of phone, it is very slow. Especially you will find that if you have large data set, you will see that uh, part of phone is way much slower. So also that's why I like to open, uh, to use part of you. It's much, much faster on lo loading the data. So there is another reason why to use uh, part of you. So next stuff also that is you decide to use Patafone also you will have the standard compilation you will have you will have it without the MPI addition without the Python that sometimes can be really helpful if you want to do since parametrically so that is another good reason just to use the precompiled binaries where everything already it is enabled or is the one you can compile when you compile but you need to go to the file uh, probably this is an old version here should, shouldn't be four five so you you will enable this option through through and you are ready to go okay so here also well, we're already familiar with the GUI let me skip here and what I want to show you is this okay this is also some basic usage some filters and sources how to create sense so then you, you can try you can follow this and just to play around but we have done a lot but 
but let's go to to application so we have this one so we have this by the way you have there the case that you can run already giving you the solution for a post processor but you can run this case okay it's a nice case so we have this external aerodynamics here we're setting some no some some flow coming out of the nozzle. It's not like there is nothing, it's not generating trust, just putting something going out there. So we have here uh, separation, see that we have this vortex and we can co capture those vortices. So there is a lot to do here. So we compare with the, the photo. So you see that we have some kind of a nice agreement. So let, let, let's uh, do just the post processing. If you are curious, you can run this case. We were using raw pimple phone. This is in version open phone 8. If you are using some, some previous older version, it would be Sonic phone. So let's extract the data. Okay, we can use Paraphon or Paraphon. It's up to use. If you use Paraphon, just open Paraphon. If you want to use Paraphon, just do like this and I will show you. And we're going to do some nice post process. Okay, so I won't go, I won't go and do all the steps. I will just open a state. I will show you also what is the deal with those states. But see that we have the geometry, we can separate the geometry. Okay, we can plot the mesh there, pressure. Okay, change the color palette. Uh, then create couplings and put some filter. We can also put multiple couplings. So we're going to see these actions. Then the string lines, we can, okay, we can also use threshold in the couplings just to have a specific range that we want to visualize. We can also compute, uh, visualize isosurfaces. In this case, we're using Q criterion that is used to capture vortices. And remember that this Q criterion, we can we can compute it in OpenFun or we can compute it also in Parvi. So we're going to use to see how to, to, to use those utilities. And this is important, okay? Probably if you are not really familiar with this, but let, let's analyze this one because this is the tree that we have you now in, in, in part of you, okay, pipeline browser. And when you load the case, you have the main case and the filters that we apply, every single operation that we apply here that I want to see ISO surfaces, cut plane, whatever, everything you have it here. Okay. And we have this hierarchy that we need to respect. We need to follow. So for instance, if I apply a, a slice here, it will apply to, to this block. Okay. But then if I want to, uh, compute another slide I have to be careful I cannot I cannot apply it here because then I will apply a slice and a slice so I'm not getting nothing I, I will get nothing or problem align so if I want I, I should choose okay the block the specific okay the specific geometry or mesh where I want to, to apply different filters okay so you see that here we're extracting different blocks and see that block one you start to apply filters and then if you want to apply filters to this one you can okay but be careful that you have this tree structure so you need to select the the right one and then also also you can change this ordering okay so just right click we're going to see that so a little bit splitting the screen synchronizing views releasing the string lines okay putting nice string lines then selecting a, a small surface of the domain and then we can release the strings as well from there. So here we're releasing string lines for every single uh, cell, surface cell, but then we can reduce that one by using you know, another filter masking. Okay, so see that here we'll reduce that one. We can plot vectors in cut plane, but also we can do projections. So see here that now we're looking just the, the, the vectors par uh, parallel to, to this plane, okay? And so on, okay, and then some nice you no know, volume rendering, okay. So I want to show you this auction. There is, as you see, there is a lot to do. Then also we can save this tape. So for instance, you do something like this, you can save an state file, and then when you launch again part of you, you just open this state file, and then automatically you will go to 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 do to that configuration that you have. Okay. And not necessarily this state only applies for this. You can have a new geometry. You just need to change the names, the proper names or the connectivity or, or what files to open. Okay. So we're going to do this and then we're going to move to a second case, uh, vortex shading. This, this one is a steady case. Okay. We have just one, ch one single snapshot of the solution, the final one. In this case, we're going to have a, a solution in time. So we're going to already have seen this. We know how to play with this. So, but we're going to see in this one. So in here, in this case, uh, I convert the open phone solution. I convert it to a, 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 a format called Exodus. Okay. Just not to save all the data. So this Exodus format is takes, takes less space, but it doesn't matter. So this is basically what we're going to do. So what you see here, this is the drag for 
compute it in open phone okay in, uh, sorry in part of you okay so remember you can compute it in open phone but for if for any reason you forget to compute that in, in, in open phone you can also go in part of in part of you part of phone and compute it honestly i don't recommend you to do it always set up your function object and do it in in in, in open phone but uh, just to show you how to do it okay so we are going to do a couple of operations just to to see how, how, how we can handle with that. So here we're, go open, we're going to open the file, it's excellent format, but remember, I just converted from, from, from the OpenFund solution to this one. So this is equivalent to what we have in, in OpenFund. So here will be a little bit uh, different what we're going to see, but it's the same data. So you select everything, then you select the parts of the image that you want to see. So I'm going to show you now how to compute the vorticity also here and compare the fields. It might be, maybe we might find some slight differences, okay? Then we plot vorticity, what bands in time. We're going to see how to save you know, the files to create animations, okay? And then how to convert. For instance, I like to use, instead of using MPEG or format like that, I like to use animated GIF. So here you see that you need to install this utility, okay? This is convert, this is a uh, Linux utility, okay? So you need to have it. So what we do here is that we save all these snapshot in PNG format or JPEG, whatever, and then just here we concatenate them and we create an animated GIF. So I like this one because they are independent of the operating system. So it's your, whatever you put it, it will run. Even you can put it that in, in your web page and whatever, it will run. Instead, sometimes you have MPEG, so you change from Mac, from Linux, Windows, and then you have, yeah, you need to download filters and stuff like that. So this is more, more universal, but you also you can save your MPEG. Uh, a little bit more, you have some these steps that you can then follow. I won't go through all of them and also not many details, just a brief overview. So also see that also, so you can do here the sampling okay so instead of doing the sampling in in, in open phone, you can also do it here so see that we have the line and then you can sample all the properties here the same you can do it with a point okay so you can put it in a point and see here that we have the animation okay and you can see the vortices there the wake okay you can compute also statistics there so see in this case we are putting a point and we're going to sample over a time Okay, see that you have the time series and then you can do statistics on that. See that we can save also, we compute the forces and then we can extract the selection and then save that in CSV formats. You need that information on text file. Okay, so there is a lot of things to do. Okay, very complete. Okay, and <clears throat> you can get lost here doing things. Okay, so that's why uh, I will leave it to you to play around. I, I will show you the most important things. And here I will show you how to compute forces. So for instance, to compute forces, important. You need to have the pressure field and additionally also you need to have default wall shear stresses. However, you can compute also wall shear stresses in, in part of you, but it's a way much time consuming. You know, you, you, you recall the equation that you have that, that matrix and you have the derivatives and everything. So you need to do all those operations here, the gradients. So it's better to have that information from, 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 from open phone. Okay. So to compute, for instance, the pressure forces, you need to compute surface normal. So we're going to see that one. Okay, so you have surface number, multiply that by the normal y, and that would be leaf, and then you have your leaf four. So if you want the total force, so here we're not adding wall shear stress, but you want the wall shear stress, just plus wall shear stress. That you can have it from open phone, or you can have it, you can compute it here, but as I mentioned, it's a way, way, way time consuming to do it here. And we compute drag, we can integrate the variables, you have the plot here, you can use your animation. So here the, that you have here the drag force, so as you see that you can add the other component. And so also here you have the animation, okay? This will be the drag computed here in, in, in part of you. Okay, so then you will have in a folder the two solutions, open from Paraphone, we can compare. You will see that the result is pretty much the same, okay? But the quality of the solution that you will have here, you see here that it's not very nice, it's not as nice to what you have in, in, in OpenFone because here, Everything that you're computing depends on the frequency that, that you save the solution. So as you save the solution every one second, so here you will have times of one second. Okay, instead in open phone, you say you compute those forces every single time. Step, okay, and I think the time step was the delta t was 10 to the minus 2, so you have a nicer signal. Okay, so here the quality of what you are going to capture here depends on the sampling frequency. 
of the output of the fields. Okay, so that was the introduction. So in the next video, we're going to move to the first, first case, the airplane geometry. Okay, so hope you enjoy. I hope I also get ready. Okay, I think we're going to have fun with this. So see you next time. Bye.